Howdy, welcome to the fourth episode of What's in My Mallet Bag, where today I will be talking about the Beverly Johnson Signature Vibraphone Mallets from Marimbo One. Now before we get started today, I'd like to say a quick thank you to my patrons, Dyer at the Silver Bar level and Emily and Nick over at the Gold Bar level. If you'd like to be like Emily, Dyer, or Nick, just head over to patreon.com slash Cole or click the link below. For those of you who do not know, Beverly Johnson is one of Canada's leading percussionists. She has performed and commissioned many works by other leading Canadian composers, which has earned herself the Canadian Music Ambassador title. Beverly currently teaches at the University of Toronto, being endorsed by Pasty and of course, Marimba One. Beverly's signature mallet series debuted back in 2018 at PASIC, where she came out with three marimba mallets and, of course, the vibraphone mallets. If you happen to be at that PASIC 2018, there's a chance you played these exact mallets, because these ones are actually from the trade room floor. Because when I went to go buy my mallets, they didn't have any rattan left, so they just let me take the ones off the trade room floor at a slight discount. So, thanks marimba one, really appreciate it. Her signature mallet series is meant to be versatile on both the marimba and the vibraphone and in a wide variety of styles so they can fit any percussionist needs. So these mallets, I'd say, are a medium hard to a hard hardness. They produce a very nice hard mallet tone, which I really like even though I'm not really a fan of hard mallets on vibraphone. So right away you may notice that the uniqueness of the mallets is something that you've never quite seen before. And that's because it belongs exclusively to marimba 1, which they call the wave wrap which I personally like. It looks like a cool little jet engine. I like it a lot. Because of this unique head shape, you can get a variety of tone from one mallet. You can achieve this by playing closer or further away from the crown of the head, creating more articulate or more dampened type sounds. So you may find that there are actually some disadvantages to this type of mallet head. One of those disadvantages is that you may accidentally be playing more on the crown and not getting the articulation that you want. These disadvantages can be caused by the fact that you have a vibraphone that isn't really height adjustable like mine, so you deal with the height that you got, or maybe you don't have time to readjust the height of the instrument and then you have to play with the mallets leaning downwards a bit more. Because of that, you would either have to just play with the mallets more like this, or put in the manual extra effort of keeping your elbow a little bit lower. The shafts on these mallets is also something that I'm not particularly a fan of for vibraphone. Now just like the mallets I talked about in the last episode, I find these shafts are incredibly long. Now the reason for that is likely because you want the most crossover between marimba and vibraphone as you can. So you wanna be able to keep these with your marimba mallets, which I personally prefer to be a lot longer than my vibraphone mallets. And you also wanna be able to just jump over to vibraphone really quickly. This is something that I can easily overcome because I play a cross grip, where it might be a bit of adjusting where I just need to choke up a bit more on the mallets and then I can play just as fine as I would. But if you're a Stevens player, you might find it'd be a bit more difficult to have to adjust to now the longer mallets that you're now using. Now one thing I like about these shafts is personally, I think these are the perfect amount of stiffness to a vibraphone mallet. They have enough give to where I can push in, get a bit more dampening and slide it on there, but it doesn't flex the same way that Sidney Crosby takes a slap shot. Now I'm gonna do a quick sound test in the normal style that I do, including a piece that you might recognize if you watched one of my latest videos.
All right, there you have it. Those are the Beverly Johnson signature vibraphone mallets from Marimba One. Do you like how they sound? Do you like the hard tone, like how I like this hard tone? Or do you just say nuts to those, I'm gonna play different mallets? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, as well as check out some of my other videos. I've done other mallet reviews, I've done some more technique type videos. Be sure to check them out. You can also follow me over on Facebook and Instagram, those are linked down below, as well as head over to my Patreon if you wanna help support the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.